Okay, boys, it's me, Dark420 Dragon. And today we're gonna be taking a league with the toughest deck of all time Soul Sisters. Click subscribe or else. Let's fucking go. It's time to engage darkness mode gaming. Darkness mode. The darkness is consuming me, boys. The darkness is consuming me, boys. I don't know if I'll ever be the same again. Fucking A. The darkness is taking over. Holy moly, boys. The darkness is taking over. Fucking A. Holy moly, bro. Alright, boys. Let's do this. Alright, this head is unkeepable. This head is uh, very suspicious. If we draw land, it could get there. If we draw land, it could get there. If we draw a sister, it could also kind of get there. I guess let's keep. <laughs> what the fuck, Lamau? <laughs> Bro, this is the, you've never seen a deck like this. You, you're simply, you're just a little weenie hot juniors gamer, but I'm a fucking dark spike death reaping gamer. You probably wouldn't understand. I'm a Darth death reaping spike gaming player. Relic, okay. Fuck. It's unlucky. That's ah, unlucky, boys. Okay. Secret. Okay, it's totally fine. All right, poggers, poggers. We're moving, boys. We're moving. We're moving. All right, all right. It's totally fine. Alright, I'd be sick as fuck to top deck a land. Take three. I don't give a fuck, bro. I got my sister on. Alright, there's a land. See, why don't we just get this visionary down? We'll have a lot of mana locked in. Draw another sister? Poggers. Oh, let me update the deck list. Alright, so they bolt the sister. They're scared, bro. They're scared. They're scared of the sisters. Excellent or sister, whatever, man. Alright, deck list updated. Take the three. All right, let's see. We might actually win this game. I don't want to call things too early, but it's looking pretty nice. Let's go winding way. To the juice. Let's drop another loam dryad. But it's actually shitting themselves, bro. The sisters is too strong, man. Boys. Boys. I'm gonna have to fucking clap the enemy. You think we should be on Priest of Titania? Maybe. I didn't want to make it like fully bad elves though.
is this? Dude, imagine they go cold Dotha and give us three life. Okay, they're gonna pop the the sister. Damn, this fool really hates sisters. He's scared, bro. Huh. Let's go Loon Arch. And then just play another Vig. Get our mana up. Alright, we kind of do need some more sisters. The priest plus Kyrian is too much velocity. It's pretty nice, yeah. But I feel like that's like too good. I feel like that doesn't fit with the theme of sisters. <laughs> I feel like that doesn't fit the theme of sisters, bro. Sisters can't play good cards, man. It just doesn't make sense. The G Blast? Damn, they're killing all our sisters. Dead. Okay, I'll take the three. So land. Let's go lead the stampede. Wanna find some sisters. I don't find any sisters. Hmm. Okay, there goes a sister. Alright. I think this is a decent spot here, boys. We're going wide with our sisters. They flip a bolt? Man! Just killing all our sisters. Double galv to face. Rip. Nah, no way. He's already used two galves. He's gonna kill the blocker. Oh, shit. So we're dead to any non creature spell now. Yeah, that does it. We don't have a we don't have a true sister out. Fuck. All right, that was unlucky. Hmm. Gon's transformational sideboard. <laughs> I feel like it's not that good in this matchup. Let's go like this. That was honestly, that was just an unlucky game. He just had all the answers to my sisters. He had a fast clock too, so not much you can do about that. Not much you can do about that, bro. It's just unlucky. Just unlucky game there. You know, assuming we have reasonable luck, games two and three, it should be pretty easy matchup. This is a good matchup for us. They can't really outcard us with our uh, winding way lead the stampede combo. They can't really kill us. We have ten sisters. All right, yeah, this is basically the nuts. We want this deck to five us. <laughs> we'll see this in the deck. <laughs> I'm doing. I'll do my best, man. Do my best. We got the nuts here. We got the nut draw. A mountain. Just so unlucky. Okay. Vige. 
Okay, okay. Center. They hit land, okay. They're not having that fast of a draw though. He doesn't five with this, he's clearly a noob, yeah true. This is the this is the strongest deck the format's ever seen, so if I don't five with this, yeah, basically I'm a noob, true. We broke the meta here. Alright, what is this? I'm gonna go kill Doth. It's totally fine. with this you don't see the score widget oh what is up with the score widget yeah I don't know what the vibe is with that thing I don't know what that is I don't know why that's happening uh let's just go I guess I could play both gain our life the sister Opponent can't really attack into our 2 2 here. Go experimental, flip into Skyfish. <sighs> One life gained, easy, true. So go land into Fisher, gain a life, easy. Pick up the inspector. Boom, that's another life. Easy. Alright, we're at 23. They can't attack. We're stacking up our HP value. There's the pair of pets. Just fire off the lead here. Jasper or Lanawar? Let's go winding. Go Yasper and we'll hold up parapet. I guess we could just slam the parapet right now, actually. Maybe that's better. Yo, what's up, Snap Scoop? Yeah, this is called passive income. True. What the fuck is going on? You're a noob. You're a noob. This is darkness gaming. So I pick up the synth, flip into a planes, replay the synth, hit a yearny. It's kind of annoying. They're going to be able to take out our sister. The race has been destroyed, true. But we can actually unlock the sister with Mask Vandal here. 3 1 with 2 land spy. 2 land spy is fucking. Dude. 2 land spies legit is, uh. Like, bubble blowing baby gaming, bro. Real tough guys, real tough guys play this. Play sisters. Boom. Look at that. Dude, what would you do if you were up against this shit right now? You, you can't do anything, man. Look at that. I'm at 27, bro. It's GG. Fucking mill me out. Fuck no, dude. No chance. We get look at my sisters, bro. It's imbalanced. We need to draw another winding way or lead though. We only have one sister out. So just elves with extra steps? Nah, dude. Elves is just bad version of this. How can elves actually win through Essence Warden? It's impossible. It's so unlucky. Lenore Visionary is a dude though? Yeah, well, you gotta be sisters to something, man. You gotta be sisters to something, bro. Alright, so we could start pressuring here. So 
less pressure is pressure. So was it girls only? Well, Landmark Visionary is basically me. You know what I mean? Boom, dude. Nice trades. Alright, we're farming. We're farming this guy. Glant Hawk, that's unlucky. It's kind of weird how the opponent has seven cards in hand. Doesn't make sense. They must be cheating. Max Vandal is just like me, bro. True. Dude, why are you taking out my sister, man? Kind of weird, man. Kind of weird. Imagine being forced to trade a three bit inspector for a land of visionary. I know, dude. Such a noob play. Okay. This is kind of getting on my nerves, bro. I feel like this is really unlucky. We could probably just mill them out, though, right? Only like 30 turns left. FTGO doesn't want us to succeed. True. Go Fisher. Okay. Go Bounce Land. Bolt the face. That does nothing in the face of my sister's gaming strategy. You think they're outvaluing us? Just wait, bro. Just wait. They're not actually outvaluing. Boom. I'll value this motherfucker. Essence Warden. Go. Forgot to renew your MTGO premium subscription. Yeah, maybe I did actually. Are right, the crack they hit wellspring? Holy! This is unlucky. Fuck! Kill her sister. We're going to need to hit a nasty lead to Stampede off the top. Like, fully nasty. Fully nasty lead, bro. Where is it? Let me see this. Okay. Unlucky, unlucky. Where are Timberwatch Elves? Nah, bro. Timberwatch Elves is too good, man. We only are allowed to play, like, bad cards. Oh, sheesh. Yo, Rally. Flashback to Rally. That's 18? What? Bro. Man, the fuck! No, that was dude. That was so unlucky that we lost to that Weenie Hut Junior's ass deck, bro. Our deck takes no skill, has no swag. Literally, is designed for like children to play it. This deck, on the other hand, you know, this deck is for big, fully. Giga Chad juicers. Full ass juicers. Full Giga Chad juicers. No cap. No cap, dude. Oh, you could play Yumi in a tavern. I forgot about that. Alright, yeah, this is basically the nuts. Shit needs to be main. Nah, man, that's like cheating, dude. That's not in the spirit of sisters making infinite. That's kind of weird, bro. How 
half main, half side. That's an interesting idea. <sighs> All right, well, our opponent's mulligan into five. Maybe winnable. All Gon's main, yeah. That would be based. Okay, that's enough fucking sunglasses for now, boys. Fucking A. Kind of have the nuts. <sighs> oh, we needed some sisters. We get like three, four sisters going. Get into uh, Marauding Blight Priest. Every creature we play deals damage to the opponent. We just start farming, bro. Chain off with some leads, bro. We need to hit a five card lead to Stampede, bro. It's actually unlucky that we didn't get that last game. We have like some of the most unlucky leads I've ever seen out of any deck. Dude, okay. Okay, there's our opponent. He's not going to know what hit him. He's not going to know. Swamp should be easy matchup. Pretty sure we perma farm swamp. We perma farm that, bro. Okay, okay. Let's play the dog. Oh, fucking poggers. It's a good draw. Bajuka bog? They're having a bad draw. It's gonna be cycling storm now. <laughs> it's an easy matchup. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, let's go with uh, Lanwar. Try to build up our mana here. There's the Blight Priest. Okay, so we can actually start putting pressure. It's a pretty good spot. Sign in blood? Alright, this is going well, boys. This is going well. Bump in the night. Oh my gosh. We queued into a good matchup, boys. They're bumping the nighting. Easy. All right, let's just go with lead then. Drop some sisters. Did it's GG. Opponents on bump in the night. It's just GG, boys. We queued into the good matchup. We're soul sister and Griffin. What? We just have to pressure. Let's play the Vige. Just 
pass here. And we're actually in a fine spot. If they pop the board, we can rebuild. We're applying pressure, so at some point they're not going to be able to like pop the whole board without just killing themselves. Okay, so they just go for the rat activation. It's totally fine. Just rebuild here. Next, we can actually just start blight priesting. We're farming this opponent's pissed. Ooh. Vamps kiss, whatever. It's a wimpy card. Soul reaps, one of our uh, sisters. Okay. Spinning D's are Yaspera. Yeah, okay, that's kind of annoying. Let's go winding. Cerulean. All right, we're in a good spot. We're just grinding them out. Just grinding them out. Easy. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just drop a uh, blight priest. Now we're gaining and draining perma, perma gain and drain, dude. There's nothing they can do about this. We have the lock assembled. We have the hard lock set up. Fuck, unlucky. Okay. Another one. Dude. It's GG. We're just draining way too much here. At this point, we're just draining way too much. It's over. They can't they can't stop this, bro. We're just draining way too hard right now. Because of swamp, got a reckoner raid. They bounce line. Okay, so they have no way to interact with their combo. Let's go, blight priest. Hit him with the double drain. Go this guy. Pop their beater. Swang. Dead. Boys. I think we cracked the meta. Alright. It's just GG. Easy. Oh hell yeah. Sisters gap. Did. Alright, let's go with this setup. Basically unstoppable at this point. It's basically a 100-0 matchup for us. 
There's not really any way we can lose this. It's basically this deck is unbeatable. No one has the tech. No one has the technology to defeat this deck, bro. Has insane grind game, insane speed, insane agility, insane durability, insane battle IQ. Just has everything, bro. Alright, let's do this. Dead. Unlucky. Whatever. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta go to five. Show them how it's done on hard mode, baby. Keep this. It's a good draw. Sister down. Trespassers curse, whatever. My sister basically counters that. She beats in two. Another trespassers. Okay. All right, this winding way. That's really good. Just get the visionary online. Sun and blood. Okay. Vamps kiss. All right, let's go winding. Dude, that was so unlucky. How did I only have one off the winding? Okay, we hit another winding though. Okay, it's chill. It's chill. It's a bad gamer? No, I'm not, dude. I literally have broken the meta. Look at this deck, man. This is not balanced. The Buke. Okay. So, Lunarch, we need a white source. Still go for creatures, though. All right, maybe we actually have to go for winding for lands next turn. It's so bad though. We just need to have like a loam dryad effect. We got arms at a vein. Okay. Vamp kiss. It's totally fine. Alright, baby. Just the wise source. Soul Warden. Winding. I fucked up. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's just go like this. Alright, 
Alright, alright. That was just a lucky game. Alright, this is basically the nuts. It's basically the nuts here. Go companion. Caretaker. We got two winding ways now. Should be good. Vamp kiss. It's really fine. Let's go for the lead here. We had double sisters. Okay. Let's go sister. Sister. Alright, so we could actually even just start marauding next turn. Let's see, I guess we can go winding first. Let's see what we hit. Trespassers, that's fine. Alright, we hit a Vetti off the top. Let's just go Vetti. Oh, I guess it was better to go uh, Blight Priest and then Vetti. Uh, I messed up. Okay, let's do this. We got the combo online now. Dead. We're actually going to win. This is Boggers. This is boggers, boys. We're actually going to take a match here. We're actually going to take a match down, boys. Easy. Another trespassers? Whatever, bro. I don't give a fuck. Let's go winding. Raining. Jasper. Attack in. Hit him down to 10, dude. They need an answer to our board here, bro. They can't beat this. It's just GG. It's legit just GG, bro. Go Viz. Into Viz. Attack. We're simply just chaining off way too hard. They can't stop the synergies. The immense synergies popping off in this deck, bro. Easy. <laughs> He's a Jesus. Can't believe I lost to this pile. Go screenshot that. Screenshot that. Yep. <laughs> oh, we got a voice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
farmed that kid, bro. We farmed him, bro. We absolutely farmed him, bro. Holy moly, dude. Not balanced. Alright. Send us mono uncastables. So we should probably mulligan. That sounds pretty juiced. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We queued into mono red, boys. Let's go to work. Let's go to work, boys. Oh, yeah. That's the nuts. We're nutting off right now, boys. In game, of course. We're out of absolutely pop off freak style. Sint. Okay. Flips in a dart. Do they have land or nah? They have no land. It's GG. It's GG, bros. Let's drop Vish. Pass. Tap in with the Dryad. Maybe I'll leave it back, actually, in case they, uh, put, like, a creature and attack. We should be in a good spot. We need to hit some sisters. But once we do, it'll be easy. They chain the loam dryad. Alright. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. They didn't attack. Okay, they're trolling. Opponent's trolling. There's a sister. Let's see, we could mast vandal the synth. Yeah, I guess it's probably worth. Let's go Lunarch. Turns Kaldotha into a dead draw. Mila Fernacci. Alright, boys. It's basically GG at this point. We have everything we need. Kassig. It's fine. It's totally fine. They hit land. It's Essence Warden. It's pretty good. Oh, baby. That's the fucking juice right there, boys. Let's drop Essence. That is the fucking juice right there, boys. No way they can come back from this. It's too much. It's too much juice. Dead. This deck is broken, man. Holy. Oh, my gosh. The Epic Hooray. Comes down, does zero damage because of the warden. Swift Spear comes down, heals us. Be an option to reveal hand in MTG. <laughs> oh, shoot. Let's go winding. So opponent shits himself. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? How am I gonna break off of the god dang winding way? That makes no sense. 
so stupid, man. So unlucky. What the fuck, man? Dead. So unlucky. How are so unlucky, man? How are so unlucky, dude? Literally makes no sense. Literally makes no sense, man. Just so unlucky for no reason. They go dart a sister. It's uh, pretty annoying. <sighs> we got more sisters though. Flashback to Dark Kiss. They're only down to one land though. We go down to one sister. One land versus one sister. Who wins? Let's see. Called death. Okay, should be fine. All right, this is not that bad of a spot. They're only down one land, two cards in hand. We got juicers to block the Kaldothas. We got another sister. We got a couple cyclers. Should be pretty winnable. Ooh, there's another sister. Let's drop double sister. Double sister and Davige. Give me another uh, lead the same. Oh, winding way, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Sheesh. All right. Yeah, it's basically just GG at this point. They're locked down on one land. We got blockers for the Joblins. We got trip sisters out. They leave the game easy. Easy, bro. Easy, bro. Holy. Dead. This deck's not balanced. This deck's not balanced, boys. This deck's not balanced. It's a little bit of a sister's gap, boys. What's up, Bird of Paradise? How you doing? Alright, alright. That's a decent draw. We got the Luma Thread. We got a lead. We got double uh, juicers. Ooh, baby. Sisters are popping off today, boys. Scissors going freak mode, dude. Let's see if he kills it. Let's see if he does kill it. Kinda need to hit a white source at some point. They played land into a synthesizer, so they're tilted, bro. They're fucking tilted. They're tilted, bro. They just lost to sisters and they're tilted. Let's go caretaker. Next time we can fire off the lead. Hopefully we hit some juice. Want to hit like a nice juicy five creature. Lead the stampede here. The 
go synth into G blast. This deck is basically Soul Sisters, right? Yeah, we're playing Sisters, bro. We're playing Sisters, bro. Okay, so they Jalve Blast the face. They don't have a land, so they're not developing at all. We top deck a Sister. Let's go lead the Stampede. It's not the best. We get two creatures. Synthesizer, okay. Flip into Cold Doth. It's not the worst. We can kind of beat Cold Doth here. Well, the chain, the chain is actually annoying. Hopefully, they don't kill our guy. All right. Hopefully, we draw a White Source. We needed a White Source. Drop Vige. Alright. Alright. This is a little bit sketchy spot here, boys. We'd have a 2 2 to block the 1 1s. Down to 3 cards and end. Pop our 2 2. It's fine. They don't do anything. Okay. Got the 4 1 with 2 land spy. I'm gonna go Vandal one of these. Hopefully, they don't hit an instant. Okay, the mountain, nice. Uh, I'm gonna play this face down as a morph. Decent spot, we got blockers. Blockers available. <clears throat> Maybe I should have just vandaled the other thing too. Go crack it, flip into chain. They have a land, they have a land. The chain the vandal. Okay. Got another Vandal. I'm gonna draw a white source pretty bad here. Get a sister going. Hmm. Alright, let's draw, see if we need a white source. If we need a white source, we can go like sister. Okay, we break off. Maybe we need more white sources. But we do have a decent board. It's hard for them to get damage on us here. Hey, thanks for the follow, Lathorians, bro. Appreciate it, man. Let's see if they go over to attack. No attack. There's a Dryad. Alright, that's pretty good. That'll give us white next turn. So hopefully it doesn't die. Hopefully it survives. We need to start making white mana. Doing stuff. Playing sisters and shit like that. Try like lead the stampede would be nice. There's Kassig, alright. It's pretty good. They're coming with the attack here. Interesting. Maybe that means they're having dart. We could play around dart. Let's just play around dart slightly here. I don't want the Loam Dryad to die. 
Ooh, they're having end of festivities. Okay, that's actually pretty good. We can't make white now. You draw a green creature. Because we do actually draw a green creature. Okay. It's a bit of a tough spot, though. So they're going to be able to have a... Uh, they're going to be able to attack in next turn. So I'm going to go no blocks. Just hope they don't have double burns. Or fire blast. Okay, they didn't have it. So play out a couple sisters here. Gain up to eight. All right, we need to draw like a lead. Like lead the stampede or winding way. Get some more value. Trigger our sisters a bunch. Draw synth. That's pretty good, man. Don't hit anything. Swift spear. Uh, it's okay, it does give us two life. It's not the end of the world. We have to take it here. We need to rip something here, boys. We need to rip something juicy. Caretaker's not exactly it. It does give us three life, though. Does let block a little bit too. So relieves a bit of the pressure. It's not bad. They play a mountain. Pop the synth. Hopefully they just hit a land and get punished. They hit another Kessig. It's actually kinda good. We gain two off the samurai. They play the Kessig, we can block the Swift. Let's play Kessig again. So they can't really attack this turn. We do go up to 12. We brick. Alright. We're going to need to hit a juicer pretty soon here. Lead the Stampede. Winding Wave, Visionary, something like that. We've only played one lead. Oh, Jesus. There's a dart. That's pretty good. It's going to take out some of our sisters. Man, it would have been so nice if this Lumen Thread Fields had been able to be an enchantment. Or they didn't attack with the Kessigs. That would have basically been free damage. Because I kind of want to block like this. Okay, it's not bad. That's a pretty good draw. Hopefully, we can head into some juice. Mm, not the best. Hopefully, it keeps us alive, though. We can top deck next turn. We can hit a winding way lead. Start popping off. And they're Kessig. Okay. Bolt the essence. Okay. That's fine. Go to five. Hmm. 
Hmm. Since we'll probably put this on the Swiss spear and then double block one of these and go down to two. If they have a burn spell, we're basically fucked, so whatever. Okay, I was Vige. Okay, it gains us a life, draws a card. Damn. Unlucky. Alright, so we're going to need a dodge or draw here. Alright, star is pretty scary. If they hit anything off that, we die. Need him to fully break. Okay, looks like maybe they actually break. They just passed. They didn't even attack. Okay, I'm gonna play Soul Warden. Takes up to two life. We need him to break again here. We need to fucking draw a whiny way or lead the stampede, man. Come on. What the heck? Where's my juice? Dead to any non-creature spell right now. Play mountain. Visionary's good. Gains us two life. Draw a card. It's pretty good. Where's my lead the stampede, baby? So lucky, <sighs> bro. All right, break again, please. Please break one more time. Play another mountain. They're tapping mana. Fuck, so unlucky. So unlucky, man. Okay. Right, that was uh, that was pretty unlucky. Imagine losing versus burn with soul sisters. Dude, it was unlucky. You saw that shit. It was unlucky ASF, bro. Is there any juice in this pile? Yeah, there's four whiny ways and four lead the stampedes, bro. That's the juice. Alright, this is basically the nuts. We have double winding. This is basically just the nuts. Easy. This hand farms. Go ahead, Baku, right? Double winding into draw one card? Nah, bro. It's draw eight, bro. It's draw eight. Ooh, with the lead. Right, let's go winding. Oh, easy little draw three. Not bad. Easy. Easy. You're pissed, aren't you, Zoon? You're pissed about that. Okay, they go chromatic. The G blast, the Ceruli, so we get to pop their land. Oh fuck. Bruh. It's over. It's over. It's GG. It's actually GG. I'm not even trolling. It's actually just GG. Pop the land. Boom. Massive. We're legit just breaking this kid, dude. He's pissed. He's fucking pissed. Dead.
Massive juicer gameplay style. So find another land. They dart the sister. It's pretty annoying. Cold death, okay. Let's put down the juicers here. Let's go this. The sister is pretty good. So we've got three blockers. This is gonna be hard for them to get in with the one ones. They could attack in and have uh end of festivities. That'd be fine though. It's not the end of the world. Reckless and a mountain star. Legit though, we're actually farming. It's kind of crazy. We're actually farming these noobs. This deck is like 10 times better than Mono White Soul Sisters. <laughs> it, is, it is a decent bit better than Mono White Soul Sisters. Alright, let's go... The winding here. Creature. Oh. Holy. Fuck. Wait, we milled double parapet though. That sucks. Just go all in, bro. If they have end of festivities, I'll just say unlucky. It'll kind of gain us a bunch of life with the Luminous Phantom anyway. Alright, boys. We're in a pretty good spot here. Hopefully they don't end the festivities us. Reckless into Synth Mountain. It's cooming? No, it's not cooming, bro. It's not cooming. It's not cooming, bro. Okay. Okay, G Blast one. That's totally fine. It's totally fine. It's totally fine, bro. All right, we're actually owning this kid, bro. He's down to one card in hand with a star and a synth. It's kind of like three cards. Let's go lead. <gasps> oh, baby, dude. Holy. Holy. Holy man. Oh yeah. We're blight priesting out now. Bomb dryad. They still have the dart in the art that they haven't used yet. Go smash in with the sisters. We're getting aggressive now. Dude, our phone is fucking pissed. He's fucking pissed. He's fucking pissed. Look at him, dude. He's so mad. Why is he timing out? Synth? Fucking A, dude. Oh, man. Okay, so that's going to kill our three juicers. We can't really block this turn. Do a couple Blight Priest triggers. It's fine. We can rebuild here. We have a winding. We have like three cyclos. Punk's gonna attack it. I mean, it's totally fine. Trade damage. 
Don't mind that. I'm going to start with the winding, see if we have any sisters. Go called Doth. Hit another synth. It's kind of balanced. Flip into a dart, man. That's pretty good. Dude, are we really going to time this guy out? That would be a crazy ass way to win. Let's see, flashback the dart. They don't flashback the other dart though. There's the Lumi thread fields. That is actually pretty nice. Let's go visionary. Alright, nice. Let's go Lumi thread fields. Just play another visionary. Block all day now. Just perma block. Easy. Flip a bolt. All right, whatever. Bolt the dome dryad. Fine. Go Epicure. So visionary, I'm gonna start with the winding here. Creature we flip three, not bad. Alright, let's go uh let's go visionary. Lom Dryad. So let's play Lanawar Vish here. Alright, there's a sister. That's going to be pretty good. How many Blight Priests do we keep in? So about one to one more blight priest in our deck. They go bolt the vis, pop the scent. His swift spear they can't cast it though. I'm coming with the juicers. All right, I'm block. Next we can dump our juicers. Go essence. Vig. Another essence. They leave the game easy, bro. We just farmed that guy, dude. Holy. Holy, dude. Dude, this text not balanced. That's not balanced, boys. What the heck? Dude. Hey, whoa, yo, what's up? Thanks for the follow the real 420 Dragon Reborn. Based ass name, dude. We're playing Sisters. Yo, you're a noob. I'm not a noob, man. You're a noob, man. Don't call me that. Alright, <laughs> looks like we're versing Gates, boys. <laughs> this should be a good matchup for us. Should be a good matchup. Should be a good matchup for us here, boys. It's totally fine, right? Squadron, okay. Saw your fam gates list. Is Stormscape viable at all? No, I don't. I think that deck kind of sucks. That was like a 
That was uh, heterodox. Is mid list he made that? I don't know. I don't know about that list though, bro. All right, let's go essence. Let's go this thing. This guy. This guy's reach, so he can block. I mean, they don't have that much removal with this deck. They don't have that much removal with this deck, so we could maybe get, like, our combos to pop off a little bit. Like, multi-sisters and, like, marauders, marauding blight priests. Maybe this can be okay. So, go journey. What are they going to hit? Hit an essence. Okay. Tap land. All right. Maybe they don't read the card and they attack. That'd be sick. To munch their guy for free. Okay, they did not not read the card. Let's go. Play with Lanoir Vige. Hit lead the stampede. Alright, that is pretty good. Let's go play this. Alright, so we really want this lead to not get countered, so let's play around a counter spell. If they leave up counter spell mana, I'll definitely uh definitely just wait. It's just spell pierce mana. We have enough stuff to play around spell pierce, so we can jam into it. Sacred cots, totally fine. Let's go lead. After all, he surrendered to the sisters. Yeah, but I made my own version. This is like sick ass, like fire to sisters, bro. This is banger type sisters. All right. Well, we're gaining life. We're sistering up. We gotta lead the stampede for next turn to get more value. A bunch of mana, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, kind of. <sighs> Did it remove one of our sisters? Getting the cat, it's fine. I mean, I'm not sure how we can outrace the cat. I guess if once we get all four marauding blight priests in play, we should be able to outrace the cat. Go TMA. Cannonade intensifies? Nah. It doesn't. It doesn't, actually. There's no shot that they have cannonade. That would be lucky. Let's go lead. Give me a juicy lead. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and play the Blight Priest. Start chunking him out. Uh, so let's just draw some cards here. Uh, maybe we should get more of the mana dudes out first, actually. It's probably better. Get the mana dudes out. Get the drains going. <clears throat> Alright, so currently each creature we play does two damage. We got another Blight Priest to deal four damage. Uh, if we get like another one of these to deal three damage. We get another sister. So, we can get pretty big here. This might actually not be that bad of a matchup. I mean, post board, they're going to have, like, some sweepers. But we have some counterplay. We also get to have the combo. I think the combo is probably pretty good in this matchup. 
We have some uh, Luma thread fields and shit too. A journey. It's probably hitting the Blight Priest, I guess. Maybe just one of the sisters. Let's see what they hit. So should a sister. Okay. The squid drone. Alright, so we just need to find some more sisters. I want to hit like Winding Way into like Quad Sister. That would be the nuts. Or like Trip Sister and I'm rotting. Attack and I'll block the cat. Alright, there's a sister. Let's play the sister. Let's go ahead and play a companion. Ooh, there's a lead. Very nice. Let's go ahead and play that. Nice. Another Blight Priest. It's pretty good. Let's go Blight Priest. So now all of our shitters drain four. Go Loam Dryad. Dude, wait. We're actually just clapping Cogates. What the fuck? <laughs> We're actually just clapping Cogates. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this thing is so funny. Please, no arms? Yeah, no shot they have arms, bro. Really. Nobody plays arms. They Maybe they have a uh, few mees, but... You know, no shot they have arms. <sighs> the hell are you seeing? You're seeing sisters. This is sisters, bro. Okay. They go journey. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Hit like a sister. It's kind of annoying. So hit the sister. It's kind of annoying. Needed like another sister. It'd be really nice to hit another sister. The gate, the cat. Okay. Play another cat. What do you want me to remember, Zoom? What do you What are you trying to say? You have 18 power on board? Lol. I have 18 power, really? That's a lot of power. Oh, there's another sister. Alright, we might be able to lethal here. We had a creature. I think we just lethal, yeah. We don't have any creatures in the yard. It's fine though. I think we just literally lethal here. Yep. <laughs> Boom, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, man. Dude. Sisters gap, dude. <laughs> it's a sisters gap, bro. It's like it's a sisters gap, bro. Okay. It's hard for us to get creatures in the graveyard in this matchup, so I don't think that uh 
Mass Vando is very good. I think we actually don't need much sisters, to be honest. Let's try to combo them out. Alright, we have half the combo. We can cast a lead here. Jasper, uh. Probably just go Jasper into Cerulee Visionary. Or I guess Visionary Cerulee. They have a land or no? A Prudent? It's a two mana cyborg card. Um. Parapet. This stuff uh, gives our guys plus zero, plus one. I don't think I really want to play like that in this matchup, though. That's really... I'll go Warden here. I'll go for the Vige. Like for real, you're using Brian's Cyborg tech against Graveyard Haven Spy? What is it? What is a Cyborg tech? You should play five fives or something. Haunting Misery? What the fuck does that do? Oh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. It's a Blight Priest. Just attack with the juicers. And once you have priority, just dome them. Yeah. That's kind of sweet. Do need to draw it, but this is pretty doable. Let's hope they don't have arms of Hadar. Arms would be pretty annoying. We can kind of play around it by playing Midnight Jard. Trade up. Just play the Midnight Jard. They mold the fairy macabre. All right, so midnight jar resolves. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Easy. Yeah, preordain. Okay. He thought he was safe. Bro, this Kage guy thought he was safe from. Uh, oh, they they updated this the way the scry thing shows in the in the game log. They go journey. We're gonna hit the midnight jar. That's fine. We got more midnight jars. It's totally fine. Hand in. There's the gaunt. Okay. So we kind of have the combo here. <coughs> we have the combo here, boys. Let's see if he's got the answer. Flashback the cat, that's totally fine. 
passing. Okay. Uh, let's just go for the combo. Can we inverse Ponza please tell you Tech and Grixis? You bridges. They spout Pierce. Okay. Okay, the double spell pierce. Okay. You have bridges. Uh, I don't know, man. Are you playing affinity or what? That's right, attack. If it's Grixis curve, just go next deck, bro. Like, just play Affinity, play Mono Red or something. You want to be Ponza? Play Mono Red. Yeah. So get this for five Grixis curve. Yeah, nah, nah, bro. Go next deck. That's unfortunate, bro. Okay, to go to me. We can start reloading with leads here. Let's go warden. Fire off the lead here. Damn, we brick. Play another warden. Attack. Dropping out of 13. Yo, what's up, Zune? What's popping, bro? They need a UI pioneer and popper. Right? Remember the green white Tathmos deck? Not really. Actually, kind of. Did it play like Frog Tongue? No one's playing that? Yeah. Dude, wait. Hmm. Dude, I feel like low key, this deck's actually not that bad. This kind of has a good matchup against Cogate, I think. Like, you just they just can't kill you very fast, and they can't, like, kill all your creatures. So you just fucking get to kill them with Marauding Blight Priest. It's the wing con and what deck in the in this deck? Fucking hot death most or marauding blade priest. It's getting countered. Got fumies. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Probably should play the Lanowar Viz here. Elvish Vig. Okay. Fumi's kind of annoying. It takes out our uh, sisters. I did cut a bunch of sisters too. How many sisters did I cut? I cut four sisters. So we're down to. I think we have three left in the deck here.
Come in for five. Alright, it's totally fine. I had like sisters, presents are gone. Stuff like that. The most complex slash powerful true control right now. I don't think you can play true control. It just gets shit on by Cogates. Cogates is the best control deck. This shit by Cogates gets shit by Affinity. I mean, if you want to play like a controllish deck, you play Affinity or Cogates. Or maybe Fams if you're, if you're a freak like me. Score, we're 2 1 right now. We're up a game versus this deck, too. Two one bro, I know it's crazy. We placed mono red, black red burn, and then red white in the first round we lost to. We're actually low key pissing on Cogates. Low key Cogates gets shit clapped by this deck. Alright, we need to find more Blight Priests, or, uh, Sisters, or just find the Gaunt, kill them. Defense has a solid matchup versus anything? Yeah. I think I can have a solid matchup versus, like, a couple things, but it's hard to have a solid matchup versus all the top decks. Like, I think it always has a good matchup versus, like, Gates, pretty much. Uh, but it's hard to it's hard to have a good matchup versus red and blue black because those decks kind of want you to do different things. You do kind of get piss clapped by pawns. That's true. Punts is a little bit of a disgusting deck. Ponza sucks, I know fuck Ponza. Ponza's cringe, dude. Jasper, uh, okay. Go Vish. We're draining them here. Draining them slowly. Kage can be Ponzi out. Mono Red can never lose to Ponza, pretty much. Let's go lead. Alright. So we get Visionary Soul Warden. Let's go Sister. <clears throat> Alright, so we're draining pretty hard here. Play the land or visionary. Kind of need to hope they don't have another Fumis. Fumis would be pretty good. It's another Midnight Jard. 
All right, so we're kind of out of juice here, which sucks. Imagine we draw Gonda. No, we just fucking kill them. Or we draw a lead into like creatures. Basilisk gate the cat. Okay, it's fine. Or we could just draw um another blight priest. We play blight priest. She do like four damage. We deal 12 damage, and then we could just attack for the win, probably. Okay. It's not a bad draw. Let's go Viz. We're actually getting pretty close to just being able to lethal, but I guess they have a strands up, so it's not... We can't really lethal. Jasper, uh, not great. Guess we could save some of the creatures. Uh, for if we draw another sister or a marauding, deal more damage. Mm, the the filmies. It's pretty good. That is pretty annoying. Okay. Alright, I guess let's save some of the creatures here. Kill another two of our things. So. We only have like. One sister left in the deck, actually. It's not great. So we're going to kind of need to rely on a Gaunt combo to kill here. Probably only has seven minutes left on the clock, though. Go Journey. Okay. Oh, I guess maybe that was a reason to play the other Midnight Guard. In case they go for a proactive Journey. Whatever, we can do it next turn. Let's play the guard. Pass. Maybe we need to keep in more sisters or just have like a little bit of uh, parapets. So the mass marauder thing could be good too. Huh. I don't know where we should be post board. Journey. The Midnight Jarred. The TMA. Alright, we're probably pretty dead here. There's Winding. Bonus taking their sweet time with all their mana tapped. It's kind of weird. Come on, man. All right, we fully break off on the winding way. All right, I'm down to go next. 
Could try to time him out, but it's kind of boring. Let's try like this. Let's try like this. This is okay. A good guard. Put him against a five. A decent draw. We got turn three lead. Be nice to draw a loam dried. Oh, there's a winding. That's pretty good. That's my winding. All right, we had three. That's pretty good. A bass gate. Is this squadron? Okay, they got squadron. Best Drago deck for the meta. This curve built was awesome, but you need new ideas. Dude, I don't think Drago is like a thing you can do, man. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you, bro. I think this is not a viable strategy. More like 20 years ago, true. <laughs> Actually true, I feel like Drago legit hasn't been a thing in like 10 years in any format. Okay, this is Caretaker, that's pretty good. Let's go lead. Since Warden Jasper, uh, okay. Just play Jasper because I can block. I'm sorry, bro, but yeah, they play Swiss Return One, and then it's like draw go, except you die. Or they play fucking Spell Stutter at the end of your turn, and then what? You die. Or they like resolve a Monarch guy, and then you die. And then they go like turn two threat. What what if they have what if they have two, what if they have Koldota, then you have like three innocent bloods in your hand, and then what? You're fucked. I mean, I guess the closest thing to Drago is probably actually like uh, 
Um, like mono blue, blue fairies. All right, so we kind of got a crazy combo here. We next we could play like Marauding Blight Priest. Go and brainstorm. Hopefully they don't have the uh, Fumies. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's just no point to play Drago type strategy. They were draining this guy the fuck out, though. Holy shit. Next, we can play like Marauding Blight Priest, do four. Play like Sister. Bro, why? Why Mono Blue is an aggro deck? Yeah, it is an aggro deck, but. That's like, I mean, it, it's the only thing that it's the closest thing to a Drago strategy. You get to play at instant speed or whatever. So wait, so how does this do? What? How do we do the most damage? We go like Bright Priest to four, and then we Soul Warden. Don't know four. And then we play like Mass Vandal, and then I would do like what is that? Six? Four plus four plus six? Wait, we have lethal. Wait, we have lethal, boys. Easy, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. Holy. Dude. This deck is too crazy, bro. Alright, let's do this. Such a bussy? I'm not a bussy, man. You're bussy. Alright, yeah, this is a good draw. It's basically the nuts. We're 3 1 right now, Lukita. See, we told you. <laughs> True. You don't want to listen to Weird Champ. Let's go Loam Dryad. Let's go Brainstorm, okay? Dude, wait, why is this deck actually not bad? Okay, so we're versing blue black. Let's go warden. Probably just resolve a winding here. Oh! Oh! Did you see that your sister's a warrior and only gives you good shovels? It's true. It's actually true. Only gives you four card winding way juicers. 
Holy shit. Dude, we're popping off. This guy's pissed. Alright, I guess let's get a sister going. Bro, is he gonna counter the sister? Nah, no way he counters the sister, right? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go Jasper. Uh, counters the Jasper. Uh. Okay. Uh. So let's go for another winding then, huh? Actual Soul Sisters gaming. I'll just go for the Spirited actually. Play around spell appearance. The lead that's pretty good. Mental note, okay. Yeah, Femius is a little monk ass. Hopefully, they don't play it. Alright, whatever. It's totally fine. Hmm. Let's see how should we do this? I guess let's go winding. So I'm gonna play two one drops. All right, it's pretty good stuff. Jaspera. So we could get a sister down, or we could just play Vige. Let's play Vige. It's the Blight Priest. Alright, so we're kind of getting ready to go into the late game here. They've used one of their Fumis. To go TT, it's fine. This Angler. It's fine. We probably have enough time to gain life to get out of range of, like, getting two shot by this. Let's go Warden. Lunarch. Mm, I guess I probably should have done that first, but let's go lead. Alright, let's go Warden. So I go Cerulee too. They have another fumes. We're kind of fucked. But whatever. No shot. They have double fumes, right? No shot. No shot. They have double fumes main deck and drew both. Top 20. That'd be so unlucky. We can maybe kill next turn. So we're going to attack. Alright, whatever. Take 10. Fangs. All right, that's pretty good. Let's go up to twenty-six. It's our turn now. Okay, so let's go, Blight Priest. I'm gonna need a counter. Okay. Well, we got another one. Let's play another Blight Priest. Drain them for three. Play the Companion. It's planes. Okay. Let's attack with our beaters. Getting three damage. Okay, okay. Alright. It's not bad. We're in a decent little spot here. We get like another we need to, I mean we need a drop deck a card drop. Take 11, it's fine. I need to top deck a card draw here, boys. 
Uh, maybe another uh, angler or something. Yeah. It's fine. We'll drain him a little bit. Alright, that's not bad. Let's play that. Wanna hit like a card draw into like another Blight Priest? That'd be the nuts. Uh. Let's play the Vandal out. It's not really gonna do anything in this matchup, I don't think. We can actually just try to set up a big ass block onto the Life Linker. Like, what do we have? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so you can block on that. Mental note. No mental note thought scour. They have a removal, it's kind of annoying. So we could play around the removal and throw like a sister in front. They got no attack here, okay. Go Jasper uh. What is this? Counter the Jasper. What the fuck? Okay. It's totally fine. The deep anal or something? Deep anal? Okay. Alright, give me a fucking card draw, baby. If we hit like a card draw into like marauding and a couple creatures, I think we just kill them. Uh, unlucky. They're fucking terrified of Jaspers, it's true. Alright, let's see. Logs. Okay. Hopefully they don't hit a counter. Hitting a counter would be pretty annoying. Uh, fangs. That's fine. It's gonna come in with the attack. Alright, I'll hit him with the block. Which is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, so that's good against removal. Or uh, fangs. Not both. So if they do have fangs plus snuff out, it's kind of annoying. There's fangs a different guy. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's draw a card draw, please. Winding way or lead. Or at least a Marauding Blade Priest. All right, Visionary's playable. So another sister. Attack with the Blight Priest, get a little damage on him. Yeah, go down seven up to whatever thirteen. It's kind of a rough spot at this point because they're probably gonna be able to find counters, and then we're not gonna have many live draws. Many draws that are really able to do anything at all. So we block this and go to sixteen. We can flash this thing back. Remember another creature you control leaves a battlefield. You gain one life. It's 
probably not worth it. Just take it. So just pass. Let's play Vish. Might mean they have counter already. Because they didn't go with the DA. Either that or maybe they're just a noob. They snuff out hard cast onto one of those sisters. You have to kill the life thinker without the life thinker giga dead. Yeah, I, pro I probably do actually. You're probably right. Wind it away. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Better build around swirling sandstorm or crypt rats. Really want to go for two for one. I don't know, man. They're both really bad against like counter spell. Did they just leave the game? Pog. Let's get some mass vandal out of there. Probably bet some loomy threads. Like a land and like a lunarch. Dude, this deck's broken, man. This deck's broken, dude. <laughs> I'm the real sister's god. I'm the god of soul sisters, bro. It's crazy. <clears throat> so hopefully we're gonna resolve a, a Lumi thread or a parapet. I mean, this is probably better to build around crypt rats, I think, because crypt rats can kill flyers. That would be my answer. But I don't know, man. You need a pretty good plan versus Affinity. Because Affinity is going to make your life very difficult if you're trying to do stuff like that. Put him against a 5 here. Start with Jasper, uh, a brainstorm, okay. Is playing Soul Sisters <laughs> true? Dude, telling Twitch chatters their deck is dog shit while I'm playing Soul Sisters. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. <laughs> true okay uh all right let's go so really <laughs> winding way Got creatures damn we fucking a man we melt three juicers we melt three juicers and we hit one fucking piss bad card man fucking a dude i can't take the variant swings with this deck clearly i'm the better player but winding way just doesn't want me to winding way just doesn't want me to win just 
to go Warden. Lenor Vig. Missed one damage. How did I miss a damage? I didn't miss a damage. I legit didn't even miss a damage. You're trolling me. Okay. Let's go. Double blight priest. Since warding off planes, type cast visionary, type of Jasper. Okay, yeah, I guess I missed a damage and a life. Yeah, I fucked up. Okay. It's totally fine, though. Cheddar? <laughs> Check that thing. Gonna hit for ten, okay. Another fucking land. Alright. There's another sister. It's not bad. So now all our creatures will drain for four. Smash for a million damage. They let you resolve a Jasper. This time, how are they going to win? True. True. Astute observation. Rise 94. It's my first game of ever. <laughs> but this is my first ever game of this format. And honestly, this seems sweet, lol. Dude, we got the 4-1 with sisters? 